team, keep it clean You see my boy, he like gotta made it Boy, that's my homie, ain't that right and graven Right and graven Shout out to Graven You know what, let's just jump straight into this thing Team Keep It Clean, what's going on? I appreciate y'all checking out the podcast Whether you're listening to it on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, whatever If you're listening to this on a YouTube channel Thank you, thank you, I love you I hope that you are having a great day right now Uh, Even if you're listening to this over Say for instance, you listen to this on Monday and then you go back and you listen to it on Tuesday. I hope you're having a great day on both days. Whatever day you listen to this on, or whatever days you continue to listen to this on, I hope you have a great day. Even if you listen to it four or five times, have a great day each one of those days. I, I really do love y'all. I am um, I'm very grateful to have the opportunity uh, to speak with you all uh, and to just really have this, 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 this podcast, man, because it's... Um, it's just a lot of fun. It's a whole lot of fun. Um, I, I really enjoy doing these, and, and I appreciate you all for listening to them. Whether you're listening to them on the way to work, if you listen to them around the house, if you listen to them at school, if you listen to them, whatever you're doing, thank you. Um, and, and while you're listening to this, the next person that you see, give them a big smile. I don't care if, if I don't care if you don't know them. Give them a big smile. You ain't got to give them a plastic smile. Give them a real smile. Give them a, a real genuine smile. And if you do that, some people might look at you a little weird. They may be like, oh, man, what are you smiling at me for? But most people, if you smile at them, they'll smile back. For real. It's, it's, like, a, it's, like, it's like a sneeze. It's like a sneeze or a yawn. When you smile at somebody, it's like a, it's like a sneeze or a yawn because it's very contagious. Because you know my wife and car, they do it all the time. And I tell them both, y'all, I say, y'all are both so annoying. Because if my wife, if she sneezes, guess guess who's sneezing like 10 seconds later? Carter. I said, man, where you get this sneeze from, man? They do it all the time. Or it, sometimes it happens the other way, too. Sometimes Carter be getting me, too. Sometimes Carter will sneeze, and I'll be like, achoo, achoo. not sick or anything. We'll just be sneezing. Um, but it's, it's contagious, man. It's contagious. I got to try to work on this myself, too. Try to smile at more people. Because I, I walk around and just... I don't know. Sometimes I'll be feeling like smiling at people. Sometimes I won't, but I got to try to work on that myself. So let's all try to work on that together. Anyway, um, team keep it clean in the world of football. Oh, the world of football has been going crazy. I'm recording this, by the way. Uh, it's December 7th at 1249 a.m. Yes, I did say a.m. Um, all the Saints meet the Falcons. I'm, I'm just looking at a lot of the scores that I didn't see because I was... Like or just us, we will. We just took a nice little break. We took a step back from everything this weekend, um, and just took a nice breather. Me, my wife Carter, we took a nice breather, um, and just took like some some time off. And it is it was the best, man. It it is the best. Like you always need breaks from stuff. You always need um time off from stuff from whatever it is that you do. Now, of course, uh, as far as the YouTube channel, I wouldn't just leave y'all hanging or anything like that. That's why we had uh, we had videos ready to go and stuff for y'all. So, so y'all be straight. Um, but it just it was so nice to to just take to take some time off. I wasn't like fully detached from it, but I was a lot more detached than than I usually am. Um, so that that was just it's just really nice to me. It just felt really good. Uh, so make sure that whatever you do, like I say, you, you, you always take time off and give yourself that break. But anyway, in the world of football, the Ravens, whoo, <laughs> them boys, oh, the Ravens, the Ravens, what a season this has been, man. 
What a season. And they still in the thick of things. I know a lot of Ravens fans. But hey, man, this season's over, man. That's a wrap, man. What you talking about? These dudes are done. Their toes put a fork in them because they're, they're done. They are done. Uh, but they, they, ain't, they ain't done yet. And I love how somebody put it. They, they put it in the comment section of the YouTube channel the other day. They said with the Ravens, um, these guys... They said, I, I'm, I'm not done with them until they are mathematically eliminated. He said, it ain't over till they are mathematically eliminated from the playoffs. And right now, they are certainly not. Now, we did do the video the other day uh, asking, are the Ravens a playoff team? And we talked about some different um, help that they can actually get to get there. Right now, the teams that are sitting in front of them, that w if the season ended right now, that would be in the playoffs. Would be the Dolphins, would be uh, the Brown, excuse me, would be the Browns, and would be the Colts. And today, uh, the Colts played the Texans. I didn't get to see any of that game, but <laughs> I did see the results. And the Colts won, so the Texans, they couldn't help us out. I'm like, man, come on, Will Fuller. Why you couldn't be team keep it clean? And you know, whenever these, um, and I'm not saying that it's not true, because you just never know. Uh, but it's like whenever these athletes get suspended for P for the PDs, I always wonder, man. I always wonder, like, why now? Because I believe on his Instagram post, he was like, oh, um, it was something that... Oh, I just dropped my phone. Okay, I got it. He was like, it was something that uh, my... Not my trainer. Um, I think... My, did he say my trainer? I don't know. Let me try to look real full up. All right, here we go. All right, earlier earlier this year, I saw a treatment from a medical professional who prescribed medication that he believed to be permitted under the NFL's drug policy. As it turns out, my my trust in this professional was misplaced because this medication was not a permitted substance under the NFL policy on performing enhancing substances. So, it's like they, I I, I really wonder when the NFL. I know they can do like random drug testing on people, on players. But when, when did like when did they find out that okay they did not they they failed the drug test so they they had a banned substance. When did they find that out? Did they just find it out just now? And oh maybe it was that he was he's been taking it all year and they just finally decided hey they Will Fuller man you've been going off these past couple of games what is it man. What is it that's making you go off? Then all of a sudden they be like, okay, drug test. And is, it, is that how they get him? I, I don't know. But I always wonder about that. But anyway, Deshaun Watson didn't have Will Fuller. And there was another Texan that got uh, suspended too. I forgot who it was. But the Colts ended up winning. So hopefully in two weeks when they play the Texans again, then it'll go much more in the Ravens' favor. Uh, so we'll see what happens with that. Um, but also the Dolphins. Dolphins, they played the Bengals. The Burrowless Bengals and the Dolphins, they won. Now, I don't think anybody was surprised with that. I mean, we was hoping that the Bengals would pull something, something out. But, of course, they didn't. But, again, like I said, no no shockers there. Everybody pretty much saw that coming. Um, The Raiders. The Raiders, who were also who were also six and five, who were also tied with the Ravens for the same record, uh, they played the Jets, and the Jets uh, basically gave up the game intentionally because the Raiders were down. Uh, it was the end of the fourth quarter, and they needed a touchdown. And the Jets, they didn't rush four, they didn't rush five, they didn't rush six, they didn't rush seven, they rushed eight. The Jets rushed eight. People, eight, leaving three people in coverage. Leaving three people in coverage. They rushed. They rushed eight. So you know the Jets were like, oh yeah, we trying to get Trevor Lawrence. We trying to have him become our next franchise quarterback. And yeah, so they 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 lost that one on purpose. Now what I'm hoping doesn't happen is because I I don't know how Sam Donald looked in college. I don't know how Mark Sanchez looked in college. Um, but what I'm hoping doesn't happen is that the Jets with Trevor Lawrence, hopefully they don't ruin, if, if they end up getting him. Because he could pull an Eli Manning and be like, mm, I ain't playing there. 
I ain't playing there. Oh, or was it Philip Rivers? It was either Philip Rivers or Eli Manning, one of them two. Uh, but it could be like, I, I'm not playing there. I do not want to play for the Jets. So they could end up trading away his rights to another team for like draft picks or something, whatever. Um, but I just, I just hope that if the Jets did get him, that they don't ruin his career. Because it's it's a sad thing when organizations they they get these players, and because the organization is run so bad, that they end up ruining ruining the players' careers. That's always uh, very unfortunate, and and you hate seeing stuff like that because when you see stuff like that, you always get the um you always get the what ifs, and ah uh, that's 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 so kind of frustrating. To think about, like the what ifs, like, and I know, I know a lot of people, of course, want a lot of or Ravens fans at least they wouldn't want to wonder about what this what if, but what if Lamar Jackson went to a different team? Let's just think about that. What if Lamar Jackson did not go to the Ravens? What if he went to the Browns? How would he have been? Would the Browns do something to where they uh, were like, all right, Lamar? This is how we do stuff. So you need to do it like this. Or would they do what the Ravens did and actually uh well at least what they did in the first in his first year and a half uh and build the offense around him. Or like what what would happen with that? So now what if Lamar went to the Jets? What if he went to the Jets? Um, it will probably be a uh, a big yikes, just because the Jets they are the Jets. Now he, I think he would have still made them a little bit more competitive, but I don't think he would have been enough for them. Now, what if he would have went to? And of course, it would obviously be like different because they obviously got their franchise quarterback. But what if they hadn't had their franchise quarterback yet? And maybe they still had Alex Smith, or maybe they didn't. But what if he went to the Chiefs? What if Lamar had went to the Chiefs? I honest, I, I think if he went to the Chiefs, I think he would be doing even better with them than he does with the Ravens. I really do. There, there's like no doubt in my mind. And as much as a lot of a lot of y'all probably wouldn't want to admit that, y'all know it's true too. He would do better. Lamar Jackson would do better with the Chiefs than he would with the Ravens. Why? Because the Chiefs, they are an offensive mastermind of a team. Man, these dudes, when it comes to offense, they are. Whew, boy. And and it's like they, they don't even do anything that's crazy. It ain't like they out there with these crazy designs on offense. Any, no, man. It's simple stuff. <laughs> oh my god, this is simple stuff. Oh, simple stuff. But I think he would he would have been better off there than with the Ravens. Now I'm of co of course glad that he came to the Ravens because he definitely gave them life, man. He gave them life. He gave them not that they weren't relevant before, but Lamar Jackson he he he, he brought a lot of life to them and, and made them a lot more relevant than they had been. Um, he just, he's been really good for them. He's been, and he's been like, <laughs> not the sole reason that they've even been in so many of their games, but he has just been very huge part of all of their recent success, man. And you, you see it when he was out. You, you, you saw it in what get who, oh, the Steelers game. Oh boy. That was a huge yikes. Um, but he's been, but anyway, back to the what ifs, I just, if, if he would have went to like the Chiefs or something, ooh boy, that dude, like, we saw MVP Lamar with the Ravens, but he, he would have been, he would have been just even better with the Chiefs, because the Chiefs, they do that, Ravens are not an offensive team, that's not, that's not what they do. Because you see, like, you, you see what happened, like, what's been going on this year. You see it. <laughs> you, you see it. You see it. And it hasn't even been the case of where, oh, like, you know how those, uh, 
Those people say, oh man, the, what, the league is going to catch up to Lamar Jackson. No. No. The, the <laughs> I think the Ravens, like, not even that the Ravens caught up to themselves, but they just, they outsmart themselves. They outsmart themselves and they just try to do so much. And it's, there's just, it's simple fixes for all this stuff, man. Simple fixes. One of the things is the the play clock. These dudes do like, they send like 50 guys in motion and, oh, we got to motion this guy, motion that guy, motion this guy. And they spend all this time doing that. And it's like, that it ain't throwing anybody off. And I feel like it doesn't even give them any advantage when they do that. It, it doesn't give them any kind of advantage when they do that. And they do it all the time. And then when they're doing that, they, the play clock gets down to three, two, one. And then enough times they end up wasting timeouts because of that. They end up doing that a lot. It happens It happens a lot, man. They end up wasting so much time doing all that mess, man. And it doesn't do anything. But it, it's, it's, it's just frustrating because you see it every game. You see it every single game to where they got to use a timeout because of that. Every game. Never fails, man. Never fails. But... That's part of it. Um, they just, I think Ravens are just, they're lacking discipline, man. That's something that they lack. They lack discipline. Now, where where does that start with? Well, if you ask a lot of people, they will say it starts at the top. But they really do lack discipline. And it is, uh, it, it, it shows its ugly head at the worst moments. The worst moments. Like, of course, we saw the Steelers game. And, and that we had, um... We went in depth with this whole thing the other day because I remember watching it live. I was I was so frustrated because I'm like, wow, these guys are just these guys are just sitting around whining, man. Now they did show a lot of heart that game. They showed a whole lot of heart because that game, a lot of people like I know Vegas had them to lose by ten, I think. Yeah, by ten. Um, but they what did they lose by five? I think something like that. I don't even be remembering some of these scores to the game. I just, I do remember if they close or not, but I don't be remembering the, sc the scores. Sorry, that's my chair. I don't be remembering the scores to the games. I just remember win or loss, and was it close? And, of course, that game was close. Came down to the very end. Now, Ravens did get, they did get a little okie doke now. They did get a little okie doke with that, uh, that spot. That spot, was it was like, oh, boy, come on now. But hey, like somebody said in the comment section, you you gotta play better than the refs. You gotta play better than the refs. And I, I we all of course wish things would be called down the middle, but we we know it doesn't happen. Doesn't happen. So what do you gotta do? You gotta try to play better than those calls are gonna be. You gotta try to outplay the calls. And, and I know that can be really hard. And it's obviously easier said than done. Because those calls, man, they can kill momentum for you. They they can kill your vibe. They can just bring down your energy like crazy because you work so hard to make these plays happen. You work so hard to um to just have success on a field. And when that success is taken away from you, especially if it's on some garbage, man. Especially if it's on some garbage. That can be extremely frustrating. It can be it, it can make you furious, man. But I was just I, I was very disappointed. Um I was disappointed with the referees for that blatant no call on the Steelers for holding down Gus Edwards, but I was even more disappointed with uh I was disappointed with Harbaugh. Pretty disappointed with Harbaugh because he just he just sat there. I mean, not just sat there, but he he just he just did all that the 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 yelling. Oh, it's a penalty! It's a penalty! It's a penalty! But to me, I think he should have. Yeah, you, you got to move on quick from that because you got to realize the situation that you're in. And the situation was that it's getting ready to be halftime, and you getting ready to be out of luck, my friend, because the Ravens ain't had no timeouts left. And yeah, it should be a penalty, but hey, at that point, you guys need to be pushing the Steelers out the way and trying to get Gus up and trying to get this thing moving. So, I, I was just, 
That was just that was disappointing. That was very disappointing because it should have been um they should have had more urgency. Because yeah, it should have been a penalty, but they didn't have any urgency and that's something that I see that seems to be lacking from the Ravens too. Is there there's a sense of urgency this this year. Um they just they don't have it. And it's like and what one thing that they they do so much is go away from what works. It's <laughs> Oh, I mean, well, situationally sometimes, because you know Greg Roman, like he he he'll go back to the uh, he'll go back in his bag, man. Like in that Steelers game, oh, that Steelers game was so frustrating, man. Because after everybody went out, every, after everybody got put on a COVID list, I was like, okay, Ravens probably gonna lose. But at the same time, I was thinking, wait a minute, this is this is still Ravens Steelers. But I expected the Ravens to lose. I still I wanted them to win. And I was hoping that like they could they could pull out a surprise, uh, and they they didn't lose because of of a depleted roster. I was telling somebody in the comment section was like, "What? They didn't lose because of, of a depleted roster? Well, you got to be kidding me!" Like they they were saying that they disagreed with that statement. Was, no, they they didn't lose because the roster was depleted. They lost because of of, of silliness and and just silliness, man. Being silly, they they had so many opportunities that they just let slip away. And another game comes down to the very end, and Ravens don't close it out. Four out of their five losses down to the very end. Four out of five, where well, they had opportunity, and and all, and four out of the five they had opportunities to to close it out to win it. Came up short. Titans game. Overtime. Got the ball first. <laughs> oh, yeah. How about it? Um, Steelers game. Had a game winning drive you could have done. Nope. Came up short. Patriots game. Oh, boy. You had several drives at the end where you could have got it. You had a, one chance for a game winning drive. And, I mean, I wasn't really... Expecting too much with that weather, but still. They had opportunities. Who was the other one? They lost to Steelers, Patriots, Titans. Oh, yeah, and the Steelers again. So, it's... Man. Then the Chiefs, then the Chiefs beat up on them. So, we just... We hoping that the Ravens really get this thing going. Uh, they got Cowboys coming up. And while well, yeah, the Cowboys they're a depleted team as well, but they ain't gonna feel bad for you since you're still a little bit depleted, not nearly as depleted as the Cowboys. Well, Cowboys lost their quarterback, so that's huge. Um, but they ain't gonna take it easy on you. They ain't gonna be like, oh man, these Ravens they've been going through it. You know what? Let's take it easy. Even though our season, even though this season's not even done, this season's not even done because their division is so bad. I think the uh, the Giants. I think the Giants are in first place. I think. I think the Giants might be in first place. Uh but it's because that that I think the Giants are like five and seven, something like that. I think they are. I think they're like five and seven. Uh but anyway, we'll we'll see what happens with that. But Cowboys. The, my point is, Cowboys still have a lot to play for. They still have a lot to play for, even though um, they got an ugly schedule. I mean, they got an ugly record. They still got a lot to play for. So, Raven, I don't think it's going to be a cakewalk. I hope it is a cakewalk for the Ravens, but I don't think it's going to be. I really do hope it is. Though. That would be a beautiful thing. Ravens, can you please do that, please? Oh, that would be a beautiful thing. Uh, but we'll, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Uh, but yeah, Ravens, they, they didn't get any help today. They got none. They didn't get any help. Browns beat the Titans. Uh, they were whooping up on them at first. And then they just they started letting them come back, come back, come back, come back, come back. And then they were like, hold up. All right, let's chill out. So yeah, then they Browns got the win. So yeah, that didn't help the Ravens at all. Not one bit. Um... The Raiders, again, they, they beat the Jets, or the Jets just, they gave it up to the Raiders. Uh, 
the oh and the Dolphins against the Bengals. So Ravens needed it. They needed help from those guys, but they didn't get it yet. Now, um we make sure y'all check out the video on the YouTube channel on the, the Engraving Vids YouTube channel. Uh, where we talk about all the Ravens a playoff team because we talked about the current scenarios and, and we'll we'll probably revisit those again. Um uh, just to touch on those, just to do an, a little updated look uh at those um uh, the scenarios for the Ravens to get into the playoffs because whew, they're definitely uh it ain't over till it's over. It ain't over till it's over. And they have some different paths that they could take. To get there. And we just got to see how it all works itself out. Hopefully they get in. I know some people. Which I, I mean I, I can't be mad at them. Uh, because some people feel like it's a. Uh, it's it's like. A, some people feel like it's a waste to get in. Me I don't. I, I, I don't. Some people feel like it's a waste for the Ravens to get in the playoffs. They're like oh. Even if we make it. We're going to get one and done. We should be playing for a higher draft pick. And I was like. Uh. Nah, I um nope. I I I I want the team that I'm a fan of. I want them to go as far as they possibly can. I'm not with the whole oh well, just um let's just play for next year. Even if you feel like they ain't gonna do nothing in the playoffs, no. Nah, I'm I'm a hey, the way I feel. If all you gotta do is get in, all you gotta do is get in, and anything could happen from there. Anything. You just never know, man. Team could catch fire in there. They could catch fire in the playoffs. They can get hot. So, I, I'm not with all the, oh, well, you, let's just play for next year. No, I'm straight. I'm, I'm straight off of that. Uh, so, hopefully, Ravens, they could do it, though. But the, the sad part is that, yes, they, they do have to depend on uh, somebody else. They would have handled their own business. They they wouldn't have to depend on nobody else. But they didn't handle their own business, so they got to depend on somebody else. It's their own fault, though. They should have took care of it. But um, that's that. So Steelers, we're gonna be watching the Steelers game tomorrow, seeing how that goes. They play the Washington Football Team, um, and then we also yeah, that and that's Monday. Then, of course, Ravens play on Tuesday. Uh, let's see what else happened around the league. Jaguars, that they went to overtime, I think, with the Vikings, and they end up losing. They probably went to overtime with them on purpose. They probably uh, jumped out on that little bit, on that little lead, and they were like, hey, see, we can hang. We can hang with some NFL teams. Then they're like, all right, let's um, let's get our draft pick back. Let's get it back. So then they were like, okay, yeah, let's let's lose now. We're done. We didn't already prove us proved ourselves. So that was that with the Jaguars, and then of course, yeah, the Jets. Like we said, Jets decided, you know what? Yeah, we're good. We we ain't wasting no uh, our top draft pick just to prove a point. And, oh, and the Giants. Let's talk about the Giants. Giants got a big win in Seattle too. I didn't even know that it was in Seattle. Giant. I, I remember. Uh, I think me and my wife and Carter. I think we was at the grocery store, and I was looking down at my phone. Just looking at the scores and stuff. And I saw that the Giants, it was in the fourth quarter, and the Giants had a lead on the Seahawks. I was like, wow, that is a low-scoring game. And I'm, I'm just surprised that the Giants are even still in it. Now, I, I still thought the Seahawks were going to end up pulling it out. But I'm like, the Giants are still in it. Like, oh, man, okay. Check them out. And I was like, didn't uh, Daniel Jones get hurt? And I forgot who they, their backup quarterback was. But, yeah, it was Colt McCoy. And I'm like, oh, yeah. Uh, Seahawks gonna take care of business. Nope. Any given Sunday, I'm sure Vegas had a field day with that one. I'm sure everybody was picking Seahawks, 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 Seahawks. Then the Giants go ahead and pull that out. Then the Rams and the Cardinals. My boy, who's a Rams fan, I, I told him I said them Rams they sneaky. They a sneaky eight and four. Sneaky. Nobody talking about them Rams. Probably because they ain't got to get another stadium bill. Anyway, um, Lions and Bears, uh, oh my. Didn't watch that at all. Didn't care for it at all. Uh, Eagles and Packers. I did hear that Jalen Hurts got in. I I saw the uh, 
I saw the um that clip of his first touchdown to was it Greg Ward? Greg Ward Jr., the dude that looks like Antonio Brown. I think that was that was who he threw his first touchdown pass to. But so that was nice. And I, I feel like with that it's I feel like it's the Lamar Jackson thing all over again. I mean, it, it ain't just a Lamar Jackson thing because we've seen it with plenty of other quarterbacks. But with with the way that it, it played out, it is like Lamar Jackson's situation because what they did with um what they did with Jalen Hurts, they had him come in for those little trick gimmicky plays, and that's what and that was his rookie year, and they did the same thing with Lamar Jackson. And it was like you could tell they wanted to get him on the field bad. They wanted to get him on the field. So they kept bringing him out for the little trick plays. And with the starting quarterback, he was struggling. And it they had been struggles for a while. For a little, yeah, for a little while, even dating back to the previous year. But definitely struggles all throughout this the current season. So what did they do? They were like, you know what? Oh, an injury. Well, for Carson Wentz, I don't, th I don't even think he got hurt. He might have got mentally hurt. But I I, th I don't even think he got hurt in this game. I think they just benched him. But they put they put in Jalen Hurts, and I don't think they're ever going to look back. I think that's it, man. I think Carson Wentz uh, may be headed to the bench now. We'll see. We'll see. So it's, it, it is a little, a little bit different because Flacco, he, he got hurt. But you know the Ravens were waiting to put Lamar Jackson out there. They were waiting. They they couldn't wait. They were like, "Oh, this this is our easy out." Cause you know it was their easy out. You know it was. You know that was the Ravens' easy way to get out of Flacco, man. Cause of course you don't want. Uh, and it it was easier for them to lay that lay that message to the fans too, to or to any fans that didn't want this whole Lamar Jackson thing to start. This is a it, it, it just made it easier for them, man. Because if you uh, with Flacco, oh man, I just threw a pick. So I've been playing Madden this whole time. But with Flacco, of course, won the Super Bowl, did everything, Super Bowl MVP. He became amazing in the playoffs. We all know the history with Flacco. So he was loved by a lot of Ravens fans, as he should have been. Flacco, he did his thing. He 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 did his thing. He had been the best quarterback that the, in the in the Ravens history that they had. You know they had a lot of big yikes with quarterbacks over the years. They ain't been around too long, but in the years that they've been around, they had a lot of big yikes at the quarterback position. So they uh, with Flacco, they finally had a uh, a franchise quarterback that they had for what, 11, 12 years, and but they knew like, uh oh, we want we want to move on. You don't draft a quarterback in the first round. If you don't want to move on. So they wanted to move on. So that was like the first part of letting the fans know. Like, okay, hey, we are trying to move on. We're trying to, we're, we're trying to move on. Because and fans knew, like, uh-oh, they, draft, they drafted this dude in the first round. Okay, well, Flacco's time is coming to an end sooner, sooner or later. Flacco's going to be up. So what happened? Uh, they start putting Lamar Jackson in on all those trick plays over and over. And Flacco could even be in a rhythm. And they would still bring Lamar out. And then Flacco got hurt. So you know the, the, the Ravens, the front office, they were like, oh. And I, I really do think. I, I, think they, I think they overplayed the injury a little bit. I think they did. That's just me, though. I think they overplayed the injury a little bit just to make it, again, just to make that transition easier. I ain't trying to be no conspiracy theorist or nothing like that, but I think I think they overplayed Joe Flacco's injury a bit more just so they could make it easier to any fans that, that were having a tough time with the process. Of course, you can't please everybody. It's business. You can't please everybody. You can't make everybody happy. But you could try to make it easier and make it look like, ah, hey, see, this, guys, this is why. This is why he's all starter now. And they be like, hey, because Flacco's just, he's just so hurt that he, he can't go. We don't have any other options. We, we got to go with Lamar Jackson. And all RG3 was around too. But they're like, we got we to gotta go with Lamar Jackson. So, that was that.
So yeah, like I said, with the whole Jalen Hurts situation, yeah, it is it is a bit different. Uh, so we'll see how that whole that whole thing gets worked out. That should uh that should be interesting. It will be interesting. I ain't even remember that the Bills play the 49ers tomorrow. That's, yeah, I ain't gonna be watching that game. Oh, sound like a spoiled football fan. That's not good. Um, but th that's what I be I be telling y'all, man. Like it's, I love football season. It's the best. It is the best. Nothing competes with football season. It is the best. Um, and it's it's sad when it's off, but at the same time, like I'm not watching every game. I can't watch every game, and some games I just I just don't be caring about. And this ends up, this happens to be one of them. So, not going to watch that. But, yeah, we will definitely be watching that uh, Washington and Steelers game to see how that goes. Let me look at Steelers' schedule. Can the Steelers go 11-0? and 0? I mean, they are 11-0. Can they go 16-0? and 0? Uh, Let's see. Let's see the rest of their schedule. Washington. Watch Washington uh, pull a Ogie, though, can end up winning. But they got Washington, they got the Bills, tough. Bengals, no Joe Burrow. Oh, so Bengals probably going to get destroyed. They got the Colts, tough. They got the Browns, tough. Kind of. Well, yeah, if they, if the Browns, <laughs> Browns better hope that um against the Steelers and the Ravens, Browns better hope that they uh they come out exactly opposite of how they uh came out against them two teams before. Because, you know, St Steelers, both Steelers and Ravens. Ravens did it first, and I think Ravens won by more. I think Ravens won by one more point, but Steelers and Ravens both whooped up on the Browns. They button like whooped up on. I think Browns scored like six in one game and seven in the other, something like that. It is like some crazy, just blowouts. Um, but Browns they've been playing a lot better, so we'll see how those games go. Because of course the Browns play the Ravens next week, uh, and the Steelers play the Browns last game of the season. Um, so Steelers, let's see, mate. Could Bills be the team that uh that takes them out off that undefeated high horse? Bills, Colts, could Colts do it? If Colts could get some offensive points, they could. Or could Browns? They could be fifteen and zero, staring at the Browns. Oh, that would be a fun game if that if that was the case. And it it may it may end up being the case. We'll see though. We'll see. I yeah, I can see that happen. I can see that happen, but whew, only time will tell. But this has been a um this has been a really fun season. It's kinda sad that it's only uh five weeks left of the regular season. And then of course you know you got playoffs and stuff, but it's kinda sad, man. It's kinda sad because it's all coming to a close soon. It's all coming to a close soon. And, I mean, we're going to have free agency, of course. Then have the draft. Then uh, and go through the whole process over again. But still, it is pretty sad when football season is over. Because you just look around on Sundays and you're like, whoa, what's, what's this? What am I supposed to be doing? So it's you just you just feel like you almost feel like uh like whoa this this is what this is what Sundays are like and I know it's a lot of people that go through that there's a whole lot of people that go through that me definitely cuz I'm like wow okay these are Sundays these are Sundays these are Sundays without football you start finding movies to watch you start finding uh you you start finding more stuff to do around the house and stuff. It's just weird, man. But it's cool. So ah, I um, it's weird though, cause I I am and I'm not all at the same time looking forward to that time. Cause it'll it'll be it'll be nice to be less busy, but we still gonna be busy regardless. But uh, it's just it's just gonna be different. Definitely gonna miss football, but it's uh, it's just so fun, man. 
it's 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 fun. It's a it's a whole lot of fun. Ah, boy, I'm just thinking about that right now. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Oh, whatever. We'll see when we get there, though. And then uh, hopefully all this stuff going on will be cleared up, and the world can be team. Keep it clean. Uh but who knows how things are gonna be? Who knows what the the norm will be by then? Or will this continue to be the new norm for now? Well, we gotta mask up. Cause man, these these masks they be getting so hot, man. Depending on the weather, and if it's hot outside, ooh boy, if it's hot, if it's hot outside, and you got your mask on, oh boy, it is a struggle. Usually I'm pretty good, man, but I'll uh, like I I think for me, I don't um, unless I like had it on all day or something like that, but usually don't have it on all all day, cause if if I go somewhere, then I'm. I might have it on for like an hour or hour or two while I'm out, and then I'll be back home. But as far as the mask, like I, I don't really uh, realize how much it really is unless I had it on all day. And that doesn't really happen too often. But like I think, yeah, yesterday I had it on like all day and, and all throughout the end of the day before that too. And... You just you just gotta take breaks, man. You gotta take breaks, and to where you just take that thing, go go sit down by yourself, obviously away from everybody, and take the mask off and just whew, take a nice little breather, like oh, like oh, this mask is off of me. Oh, okay, I'm tired of this mask. Whew, I need a break. But at least um, a lot of people have made try to try to have made the most of it. Because of course you got your mask, you could design your mask and all that. You got so many people. My secret dwelling. Shout out to my aunt. She, the mask ain't stop. The mask ain't stop. So she still does the mask designing. Um, but yeah, so it's that's still going on. But it's it's nice that people have made them fun and and try to make the most of the situation. Some people got their designer mask, their Gucci mask, and all that. And I'm like, really? I ain't, I ain't doing all that. But yes, so it's whatever floats your boat, whatever you like, whatever your preference is, man. So anyway, team, keep it clean. This was fun, as it always is. I, again, I appreciate y'all listening. Thank you for that. Thank you for just always taking the time out um, to just just show love, man. Uh, I I hope you all are having a great week. And even if the week hasn't been so great, uh, let's just try to find something just to be a little bit happy about. I know we all got things that annoy us. We got a lot of things that just bother us. But you're here. You're live. And I don't know, man. Let's just 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 look for the good and stuff, man. Sometimes it can be hard. Cause, uh, some situations make it harder than others. Some people make it harder than others. So it's like, oh man, like I'm trying to find the good in this person, but they're making it hard. Oh, that could be tough. But no, nah, it's all good, man. It's all good. And, and, and it happens. It's life, man. So, anyway, I love y'all. I, I appreciate y'all. And again, thank you so much for listening. Y'all have a good day. We out. Shout out to Graven.